In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Honorable Chief Guest, Worthy Principal, Respectable Teachers and my dear fellows, Assalamu Alaikum. I am thankful that I have been given an opportunity to talk in this August house in favor of the motion. Intellectuals have more significance than scientists. Mr. President, as I see, intellectuals are those who have diverse wisdom and foresight, who apply the intellect and forward-looking vision for the purpose of awakening society. They help to divert masses from what is unwise and wrong toward what is righteous and the good. No wonder then that Vietnamese word for intellectuals, Thritha, is the combination of mind and awaken. Mr. President, I find great deal of truth in Einstein's world. The world is a dangerous place not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. A person with capabilities and knowledge bears this kind of responsibility and owes his or her world the benefits of their profound wisdom. Mr. President, scientists and scientists are being praised everywhere. For what? For their mass destruction of the repulsive emotions they provoke. Scientists are there with their massive and discouraging weapons. Their, their inventions are doing very well in uprooting the innocent human race around the world. Who is involved at the Iraq issue? Who is involved at the Egypt issue? Who is involved at Bosnia issue? And who is involved at Jordan, Jordan issue? Mr. President, the inventions of the scientists have provided comfort to the rich, but nothing for the poor. Thus, a class war has started. The scientists have invented a medicine to, to cure us, but they have also invented bombs to kill us in millions. These were the scientists who made atom bombs and caused the great destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Such foolish and undesirable things cannot be done by intellectuals. <laughs> Excessive availability of scientific gadgets have made us more savage and brutal. But for the survival of this beautiful race, intellectuals have always been the need of the hour. To settle our domestic issues, for regional issues, for national issues, and our all for international issues. Mr. President, the role of scientists no doubt is appreciable in the society. By their great efforts and scientific inventions, they have changed the face of the earth. They have brought about revolutionary changes in every walk of life, health, hygiene, transport, etc. But each scientist remains confined in his own small world. But on the contrary, an intellectual thinks more and remains devoted to his nation. Mr. President, I would like to quote our national hero, Kadi Azam, he was not a scientist, but changed the thinking of his nation. Sasrit Amun Khan, he was not a scientist, taught for his nation, and ultimately taught for his nation, and launched a program to educate his nation, and ultimately succeeded in his mission. Similarly, Alama Iqbal was not a scientist, but he succeeded in awakening his nation. He introduced two nations theory and ultimately succeeded in establishing an Islamic state. Mr. President, allow me to go back to our history as well as the history of modern world. Hazrat Umar, the world today follows his exemplary administration. Nelson Mandela, he was not a scientist, but put the entire nation to struggle for freedom and by the grace of God, achieve his mission. Mr. President, a great intellectual has raised his nation to the zenith of progress. Now China is called capable of putting her eyes into the eyes of the world. She is going to become superpower. Sir Wilson Churchill won the Second World War only by date, only by date of his intellectual grace and defeated the world's greatest dictator, Hitler. Such intellectuals about whom Emerson said, they built their nation's pillars deep and lift them to the sky. <laughs> Mr. President, Abraham Lincoln, the 17th President of the United States of America, was a jurist, and how we call his state united. Today, we see that the sun does not set in USA. Sir, my point is that they were the intellectuals, not the scientists, who get utopia of greatness to their respective nations. It was the wealth of their intellect that brought the wonders of freedom. Sir, an intellectual has often healed the hearts broken and made a friend sincere. Please, 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 we beg you, bring forth the people of Sanctuary Asylum, a 
after a while, who will live around to enjoy all the luxuries and living images my dear opponents are playing about? Who will live longer to enjoy all this temptation? None, not a single one of us. Enough is done in the name of advancement and progress. This tug of war should be seized permanently, Mr. President. As I have already expressed my views about the role of scientists, no doubt a great role. But my opponents will accept the fact that many intellectuals turn down the yoke of slavery. Kaji Azam is one of those intellectuals who also turn down the yoke of slavery and kick the flag in his house. Catching you to such intellectuals. I feel proud to talk about such great men. At the end, I would like to say that look for social servants, civilized servants, and look for intellectuals. Thank you.